Welcome back guys to our series with Trinidad and Tobago on the 2010 FIFA World Cup game. My name is Toba Loco and today we're going to be trying on our final part to see how far Trinidad and Tobago can go in this World Cup. So if you have a look at our group we have Croatia, Algeria and Portugal. Not impossible but definitely the odds are stacked against us. But I'm hoping with Trinidad and Tobago's good form Hopefully it will carry over to this tournament and hopefully players like Kenwin Jones and um, Scotland as well can actually carry us to victory. And before we start this one, as I always show on the screen, we play on legendary difficulty on these gameplays because it is the best way to play these types of games. Our first match is against Portugal, a very tough test indeed for our first match. You know, in qualification, we actually did really well. We came top of the group and we were actually firing on all cylinders, especially with Kenwin Jones on, up top as well. It was actually a sensational run in the qualifying round. I'm just hoping that it will transition over to the World Cup portion of it. Now that we're playing some of the best teams in the world right now. Come on. Come on, through ball here. Here comes Kenwin Jones. Kenwin Jones in behind. Kenwin Jones is about to score, hopefully, for Trinidad and Tobago. He has. It's 1-0. Kenwin Jones has opened the scoring for Trinidad and Tobago. He gets a shock goal against Portugal to make it 1-0. Not really a shock if you've been following this qualifying series, to be honest, because he has been scoring against some of the biggest teams in the CONCACAF region. So maybe his form is just translating over to this World Cup. Um, okay, so the form has reset, which is BS. It shouldn't do that, really. But I get what the game's trying to do, because otherwise all your players would be, like, rated 99 when you get to the World Cup. And, yeah, it'd be a bit too um, unfair. But Kenwin Jones, on 75 rated form, has actually taken the lead for Trinidad and Tobago. So that's actually more impressive that... We did that when he was out of form or in normal form. When this comes out, it might actually be 2023 by the time this comes out. Maybe, I'm not entirely sure. And the World Cup won't be relevant anymore. So if you are watching and you still love the World Cup content, then thank you so much. Virtual to Edwards. Back to Virtual. Virtual goes for it. Just goes wide. Trinidad and Tobago locking in their dominance early. 20 minutes in, we're already 1-0 up and... To be honest, Trinidad and Tobago might be a bit of a dark horse in this tournament. Liedson. He crosses it in. And that might be a... Oh, I was about to say it might be a goal. And they came close there to equalising. Oh, I tried to get it there. And we just got it. There was no foul either. But we gave it straight back to Portugal and just over the bar. That was insanely close to being an equaliser. No more defensive plays like that, please. Trinidad and Tobago are leading 1-0 at half-time. And good start. Very good start. Kenwin Jones on the score sheet. What more can you want? Portugal have a corner in the 56th minute. Potential chance for an equaliser. Headers. And that was a bit of a weird corner, but they got it. And oh, what a save. I thought that snuck its way in, but the goalkeeper denies them. I just want to see that one more time. Poor clearance here, just not even looking where it's going. And that save was phenomenal. Absolutely incredible save from the goalkeeper. We still got to keep this chance out. It's headed and it's gone wide. Portugal is starting to get fired up now. And Trinidad and Tobago started to sit back and not actually defend properly. Uh, here comes Portugal, Cristiano Ronaldo. If there's any man to score, it will be him. It's palmed out and oh, double save. Oh my goodness. There's only about 10 minutes to play. Can we find another goal just to seal this match? It's up to Kenwin Jones. He's got it and he gets slidden out there. And what is that going to be? It's Pepe. It's going to be a yellow. It wouldn't be a match for Pepe unless he got a yellow card in it. Here we go, Portugal. Yeah, that's it. We won 1-0 against Portugal thanks to Kenwin Jones. That's a great result for Trinidad and Tobago at this World Cup. And they celebrate just like they won the whole thing. I mean, incredible from Trinidad and Tobago to get here and get a win against Portugal. We might have had to squeeze it out and we might have had to get a bit lucky at times, especially with the goalkeeper making a double save. But yeah, you need luck on your side in World Cups. So on to the next game. Our second match of this World Cup is against Algeria. Look at the red 
colours in the stadium. It looks absolutely fantastic. The whole two islands of Trinidad and Tobago must be out for this one. Algeria, quite a tough team. Of course, back in 2010, they drew against the likes of England. And um, did they beat Slovenia? I'm not actually too sure what they did in 2010. I think they were more better in 2014. And of course, in 2018 and 2022, they haven't featured at the World Cup. Henwin Jones gets tripped, but then I trip them and somehow that's a foul. Bit of a, a weird game so far. We keep tackling them as well. Kenwin Jones pushes his way past. This is Kenwin Jones into the middle. Oh, almost an own goal. Oh, I got cut down there. And that's going to be a free kick to Trinidad and Tobago. What can they do here? In the final minutes of the half, there was another foul. And then we got fouled in the box. But that's not going to count because it's a free kick all the way out here. Algeria, you're getting so lucky. Go for the strike over the bar. And that's going to be half time with a score at 0-0. Don't really know how to feel about that one, to be honest, because Algeria haven't really done much. They've just been slightly me out and stuff like that. But Trinidad and Tobago have had lots of chances, but just can't put it into the back of the net. I'll be very surprised if Algeria actually get anything out of this because they haven't had a proper shot yet. But here they come and they score straight away. The curse of the commentator. And that is Gazal that has scored for Algeria. What a ball that was into the box. And I didn't think that actually would have gone in. But he defied, well, the angle, I guess. And it went straight in anyway. That kind of reminds me of the, a little bit of the goal that Brazil scored against North Korea in the 2010 World Cup. But it wasn't a volley, right? It was just a normal strike. Maybe Cameron Jones hasn't had the impact that we wanted in this game. He did in the last game against Portugal, but we find ourselves 1-0 down here to Algeria. We're going to take off Glenn because he hasn't really been good enough up front. And we're going to try Scotland. He's He was a super sub in our qualifying campaign most of the time. And then he moved to the starting role. Go on, cross that in. It's a header. No, it's not a header. And it's into the box here. And it's blocked and it's gone out for a corner. Algeria celebrate that one because, well, they are beating the best in the group at the moment. <laughs> in terms of points, anyway. Rubble here. Come on. Here comes Scotland. He can be the hero, just like in qualifying. He's put it wide. Of course he has. I tried to set myself up, but no. Oh, Scotland missed times the pass. And I think that's going to be game, unfortunately. A frustrating match that has ended in us losing to Algeria. And you know what? I am going to say it. They did not deserve it. We deserved more in this match, 100%. But we just couldn't take our chances. And oh my goodness, what's going on there? Almost gave away another goal. Go on. Oh, no. Oh, this is so frustrating. I should have come away there with a result, but Algeria got super lucky. Honestly, I had so many chances and then they just do this. They cross it in and don't take it away from Algeria. It was a really nice goal, but they did not deserve that result at all. I'm actually really annoyed about that because now we have to beat Croatia, which is no easy task at all. Actually, Croatia are better than Algeria in terms of rating. So I don't know what I'm going to do here. I might get dumped out in the group stage. But if you have a look at the table, just quickly, Algeria lead it by four points. Trinidad and Tobago are in second place. If Croatia beat us, we're out. And if Portugal beat Algeria, then you know, we'll be out as well. So it, we just need to win or draw at least to go through. So we're going to have to try and get a win here against Croatia. It's going to be really tough. But if we get knocked out, we get knocked out. It'll be own, my own fault. It'll be Scotland's fault for missing the chance to, you know, put us level in the last match. Edwards on the ball to Glenn. Gets tackled. And that's basically Glenn's highlights at the World Cup so far. We only have one goal and... It's against Portugal. The Trinidad and Tobago we know from qualifying hasn't really shown up yet. Croatia pushing forward. Cranjar with the cross. Has a pretty decent cross but it went to no one. A draw will be enough because if Portugal win against Algeria then, you know, 
it'll be okay. And I'm fairly sure Portugal will win against Algeria. But here comes the Kenwin Jones. Cut out. Where is the Kenwin Jones that we know from qualifying? He was on 90 form and the game decided to reset the form for the tournament. Good ball to Jones, who's got it here. Still has it. Up to Glenn. Go on. Glenn's made it past everybody. And the shot was... Uh, I mean, the angle was against... Hey, hang on. It's a penalty. And Glenn's, is, Glenn's injured. Oh, no. Oh, we're going to have to use Scotland now. Croatia just absolutely ended his career on that slide tackle. And Glenn is the only one with positive form as well, apart from a few others. But I don't know what happened there. He had the worst shot in the world, got slid out from behind. And then, yeah. So where's Scotland? Where is he? Oh, you've got to be kidding me. He's actually injured, isn't he? That is BS, man. Absolute BS. It's going to have to be Tinto, isn't it? It's going to have to be. And it's Jones. Ken Wynn Jones with the penalty. Where's the bar? Is it not here? Oh, game. Please don't do this. Please don't. Like, this, this is BS. Where's the bar? Where's the penalty bar? Jones and of course because the penalty bar wasn't there the game glitched out that is oh my good lord man I mean okay there is a platform to win this game because Croatia are down to 10 men but that should have been a goal the the power bar wasn't there so obviously we couldn't you know decide we couldn't have like put it in the green if you know what I mean if you've been watching these gameplays you know that's how 2010 works and I got fouled there as well by Croatia. They're just trying to stop me from qualifying. Obviously they are. But yeah, it's just a dirty way of doing it. And that's going to be half time with the score at 0-0. Trinidad and Tobago struggling to score in this one. Not like qualifying at all. Jones. He skips past the Croatian defence. Can he use his body strength to hold him off? It's Jones. He scores. Yes, come on. Kenwin Jones has found the back of the net again. And that is 1-0 to Trinidad and Tobago over Croatia. This is the exact result that we need so far. And we kind of was going to get it anyway. Because now that Croatia are down to 10 men, it was easier to get past their defence. Kenwin Jones. And he gets slide tackled. Great slide tackle by Croatia. We got it here. And it's another goal. Yes. And I think that was... Was it Edwards? No, Birchall, sorry. Birchall scores to make it 2-0 to Trinidad and Tobago. And that's this game wrapped up. That was good recovery there from Tinto. And then Birchall just smashes it top corner. Here comes Croatia. Crossed in, headed away. Great defending there by Trinidad and Tobago to stop Croatia from scoring. This is probably going to be a great result that's going to improve our form. Here comes Tinto, the substitute, with no form. He's sprinting past the defenders. Can he get something? No. Just saved by the goalkeeper. To Kenwin Jones. He does get tripped there, but he still carries on. Another goal would do wonders for Kenwin Jones. And he's got it. It's 3-0 to Trinidad and Tobago. 3-0. And that's game over 100%. And this has been a really good result. Okay, minus the red card, which makes things easier. To get Kenwin Jones back on form and get Trinidad and Tobago back on track after a loss against Algeria is really good. Very, very pleased with this result. Beating a top 10 European team like Croatia back in 2010 is certainly going to do wonders for our campaign. I just hope that we can leapfrog Algeria at the top of the table. And um, you know if we finish top then pretty much we should get someone less difficult if you know what I mean. But yeah I don't really know what I'm saying. We go through to the next round in the round of 16. So yeah let's find out who we get. Yeah, look at that. We leapfrogged Algeria to finish top of the group. Algeria finished with five points and Portugal and Croatia go home in Group B. Sensational performance from Trinidad and Tobago. So this is your round of 16 tournament tree situation. So we got South Africa beating Algeria 
from 3-3, free, free, well, it was 3-3, free, free, then they beat them on penalties, sorry. Then Argentina beat Spain. We got Holland versus Germany, Italy versus Mexico, Trinidad and Tobago versus Iran, Poland versus North Korea, France versus Ghana, and Brazil versus England. So the round of 16 against Iran, quite a tough opponent if you think about it because they are one of the best teams in the Asia qualifying region of course or if you want to say Middle East you can they are the best team in that region so we still got to be careful we still got to be clinical in front of goal we for some reason we've lost Glenn to injury oh yeah because he got fouled by Croatia didn't he so yeah then we got a couple of other injuries as well during training so it doesn't help that we've got some substitutes mixed in with players who are on form. At least Kenwin Jones has started scoring again. So that's good. We got it here and we got slide tackled in the box. That's going to be a corner. Wow, that was extremely lucky Iran. Could have been a penalty. Crossed in here. Header. It's a goal. Yes. Who was that? I think that was Apple Backer. Yes, it was. Abu Bakr scores to make it 1-0 against Duran. What a header that was. I mean, he is pretty much one of the tallest players on the pitch. Look at him. He's an absolute giant. Of course he's going to score that. Oh, what a ball by Iran. Seriously, they keep playing those types of balls into the box as well. They go for it, but headed just into the hands of the keeper. Half time, and it's 1-0 to Trinidad. Um, not a bad result, but... I just can't, like I said, I can't control the ball properly. And there's a lot of deflections. There's a lot of random con miscontrols and stuff like that. We need to iron that out if we want to win this game properly. Because Iran has shown that they can push forward. It's been a bit of a dead game. I'm not even going to lie about that. It actually has been a bit dead. Can we keep going? Oh, great ball by Jones. It's Scotland. Come on, control it, dude. And he's put it wide. Of course he has. Where's the form from the qualifying rounds? We are really struggling here with um, counter-attacking Iran when they go forward. And dealing with them is not too much of a problem. It's just like we need to get forward a bit more. And I think my wish has been granted with that pass. It's Kenwin Jones. Can he finish it off? He has! Yes, come on! It's 2-0. Kenwin Jones again. And... You know, you can always count on Kenwin Jones to score, can't you? He just ran his way through there. He's got too much form for Iran to catch him. And that was just a lovely finish into the back of the net. The Iranians can't believe it. You know, they haven't played the best game, nor has Trinidad and Tobago, really. Some of the passing has been shocking and the dribbling as well. It's all been about Kenwin Jones and the defender that scored. And yes, we got over the top of the goalkeeper with Kenwin Jones. He's headed it in again. Come on. Yes, 3-0, Kenwin Jones, 3-0. I can't believe over the top of the goalkeeper because usually the goalkeepers get those, but for some reason the goalkeeper just didn't want any of it. Well, that's full time and Iran have lost 3-0 to Trinidad and Tobago. Trinidad and Tobago move on to the quarterfinals. How about that? Like... From a qualifying run with a two and a half star team, we have got to the quarterfinals. Especially in the group stage where we kind of struggled at times to get going. Maybe now Trinidad and Tobago are going to be red hot and go on and win the World Cup. <laughs> Maybe that's wishful thinking. So who we got in the next round? We've got North Korea in the quarterfinals of the World Cup. That's going to be an exciting game because North Korea, this is probably their best version they've ever had of their squad since 1966. If we can just beat North Korea here and push this run to a semi-final status where we can get top four in this World Cup, I'll be super happy with that. I would really be happy because Trinidad and Tobago have been pretty decent. Not like perfect, but they have been pretty decent. I'm just hoping that we got enough form to beat North Korea here. They go for it. Oh, good save. Very, very good save. I thought that was going to be a foul, but they caught us out with a strike from distance. Go on, Kenwin Jones. Make a run, dude. Okay, don't make a run. <laughs> don't make the run then and then just get injured like that come on get up you better not be injured permanently Kenwin Jones again he's like I'm a beast you ain't gonna stop me but the goalkeeper does another fantastic save oh so unlucky 
Look at the Kenwin Jones here. He's just unstoppable. Just saved by the goalkeeper. Edwards to cross it in. It's headed and it's gone in. Yes, number eight scores. And who is that? It's Noel. And that is another headed goal. Trinidad and Tobago are kind of getting used to that now. Headering it in and stuff. And the North Korea coach cannot believe it. Munninguk going forward and he's tackled. And it goes straight back to North Korea. And good save by Ince in goal there. We've got the lead. One foot in the door potentially for that semi-final. Uh-oh. North Korea pretty much through. Can we stop him? It doesn't look like we're going to stop him. Get him. Come on. Off the post. Thankfully. And a save. Get it. <laughs> Didn't want North Korea scoring against me there. It's 1-0 to Trinidad and Tobago at half time. Can North Korea get back into this game? I hope not because I really want a semi-final. But they looked dangerous towards the end of that half. They hit the post and obviously they, there was a bit of a scramble. So yeah, we got lucky on that regard. Oh, they're pushing forward. My defence isn't as fast as North Korea and it just glances by the post there. Another chance squandered for North Korea. Henwin Jones. Out to Edwards here. Who's in the box? It's crossed in. Jones, he's headed it in. Yes, it's 2-0. And Kenwin Jones is that man again on the score sheet. He's having a fantastic World Cup. I think he's got like seven goals or something at this World Cup in total. Plus the ones he got in qualifying. But that header was so powerful. Look at this. Bang. And the North Korean keeper didn't even know anything about it. Oh, Keep getting tackled here. They have gone a little bit more defensive than what they were playing at the start here. North Korea. Fair play to them. But they're going through here. Can I select any players here? They are pushing out to the wing. It's a chance. Crossed in. Header over the bar from North Korea. Corner to North Korea. This is their last opportunity to get something out of this game. It won't be a winner though. And... Headed away there. They go for it. It's just gone wide. Trinidad and Tobago are in the semi-finals of the FIFA World Cup 2010. How about that? We've taken them from qualification all the way to the semi-finals. And we are guaranteed top four. This team just keeps getting better and better. And with Jones up front, anything's possible. So we have got France in the next round. And whoever beats France will go on to face Argentina in the final. Unless we get knocked out and go to the third place playoff final where we will have to play Italy. So no easy matches from here on out. But Trinidad and Tobago have been absolutely fantastic. This semi-final is going to be hopefully a good one. I hope it's competitive. Even if we lose here... We've done the nation of Trinidad and Tobago proud. France are pushing. Can't tackle them. We haven't got enough strength to deal with them. Headed over the bar there. And it's going to be a corner to France in the first 14 minutes. We're getting pressed in quite a lot here. Crossed in. Abbey Backer heads it away. Headed again. And Scotland has got it. Now Edwards has got it. Into the middle. Come on. It's Scotland. Out to the wing to Daniel. He's still going. Cross that in. Header. Oh, just wide of the post. Unlucky Trinidad and Tobago. I didn't really know what to do there. I saw Jones coming in, but the cross wasn't like accurate enough to reach him. And it had to be Edwards that puts it wide. Come on, please tackle him. I'm getting absolutely done here by France. And they scored. How did the goalkeeper not get that? Oh, it was offside. Thankfully, it was offside. But yeah. How did the goalkeeper not get that? Edwards to cross this one in. Abu Bakr almost headed it in. It's Jones. Not quite though. Half time and we're still nil-nil in this game between Trinidad and France. Still quite open, I'd say, for a shock result. Good passing play by Trinidad and Tobago. It's Kenwin Jones. He's pushing his way past. Can he score? Oh, Lloris with the save. Unlucky. Here comes France with Jignac. He's crossed it in and that nearly went in. This is what the game does, dude. This is what the game does. It pulls out those kind of crosses to try and like screw you over. I swear down. I swear down. Good ball to Jones. And Edwards and Jones are kind of making runs. But it's not fast enough. Not fast enough from Trinidad and Tobago here. Good passing play. 
to Jones. Go on. Oh, over the bar. No. <laughs> Nasri to Zignac. They cross it in. Go away, France, please. No, get rid of it, please. Thank you. Good ball movement there. Trinidad and Tobago trying to advance forward, but we keep getting cut out all the time. And it's a through ball. It's Noel. Come on. Noel, an unlikely source. No, I tried to shoot, but the, the, the guy was just like holding on to my shirt and everything. Oh, my goodness. Oh, Abbott back is not going to get it. Header it. Yes. Good defending. I'm getting really, really like into this now. It's only a video game, but still, you know, like France haven't played at their best. If they did, they would have beaten me. Crossed in. It's a header. No. <laughs> How did you not score that? That would have been end of the game. It would have been sensational to score that. But oh my goodness. That was a gas coin moment. That was. That should have been a goal. But no. And we go into extra time now against France. Jones. Come on. Oh. <laughs> France are just relentless at defending. And Edwards is going to cross this one in. Header. And it loops wide. Oh, the chances we've had, man, to put France away and we just can't do it. Oh, that through ball would have been it. Because Jones was going through and here we go, Jorkouf. He crosses it in and it's... No, please... This game is a joke. I told you. I told you. Look at this. Clear it away. And I didn't have enough chance to get it away. And then the goalkeeper just lets it roll in. Unbelievable. And now we need to try and find an equaliser. Which is going to be impossible, by the way. Oh, I feel so disheartened. I feel so disheartened. France are going through again. And they almost score again. Oh, my God. God, this would have been the chance. It could have been. The amount of chances we actually failed to capitalise on is shocking. And that's it. We have lost in the semi-final 1-0 to France. And yeah, I mean, I guess you could say they deserved it. So unfortunate. But I mean, when you miss so many chances to score in this game, you're going to get punished. You really are. And the, I think it was just the nature of the way that France scored against us. It was just another one of those trying to turn around and clear it. Didn't clear it. And then they just shoot. Goalkeeper doesn't react to it. It goes straight in. So unfortunate that it played out like that. Well, after that disappointment, that means that we will go into the third place playoff against Italy. So still not a bad run. Can we finish off with a third place playoff medal? But we have to beat Italy here if we want to win this third place playoff. Still impressive for Trinidad to get top four at this World Cup. But I, it will mean nothing if we don't win this match. Well, I mean, I'm being a little bit harsh, but I want to win against Italy. I want to win every single game that I play. But, you know, <laughs> we got so unlucky against France, really. I see that we... I think we got Glenn back, I think. Yeah, Glenn is back for this match. So, that's cool. Jones on the ball here. And he scores! Yes! It's 1-0 against Italy. Jones has scored in the third place playoff final. Could this be third place for Trinidad and Tobago? We need to hold on. Kenwin Jones to Glenn. Over the top. Can Edwards get there? No. Grosso deals with him very nicely. Slender lead still. Trying to get the ball back so we can double our lead. Trinidad and Tobago looking way better than they did in the game against France and that's going to be another well it's another foul by Italy they just keep doing it dude like stop doing it Jones has got it Glenn over the top come on that was a good take and it's just poked past the post there that was such good control but the finish just wasn't good enough oh that's going to be nothing okay well the the Italians need to be a bit more disciplined in this match they keep fouling me constantly and Trinidad and Tobago need to be a bit more disciplined with their passing because our passing just hasn't been good enough. We keep accidentally passing it to the opposition and we don't want to do that when we're leading 1-0 in a crucial game where we can make history. 
pushing forward. Here comes Jones. Can he make a run? He's battling with Cellini. He's holding back on the shirt. Come on. Come on. Kenwin Jones almost taps it in there. Buffon with a great save. It seems like Trinidad and Tobago have really struggled to get any kind of movement out of these past two games. And that was a great ball. And Italy off the post. How unlucky was that? That would have been one of the goals of the tournament for sure. Italy must be feeling a little bit frustrated that they can't seem to score against us. You know, they've had good chances. Through ball. I got taken out there. But Jones is still running forward. Please. Come on. Into the middle. And Glenn scores to make it 2-0. That's game over for sure. And Glenn, despite being injured for most of this tournament, has come up big in the third place playoff final. And Trinidad and Tobago will be going home with that third place playoff medal. It's just a shame that this game doesn't actually have a ceremony for that. Because that would have been super cool. But yeah, fair enough. I mean, we're 2-0 up against Italy. I wish we could have done this against France. But, hey, you know, that's fine. Crossed in. And we retrieve it there. Boot it away. There's not much time left. Will Italy get a consolation? No, they will not. Italy have lost this match. And they will finish fourth in this World Cup. But Trinidad and Tobago have finished third in this World Cup. And you can see what it means to them there. They are celebrating like they won it. But this has been such a fantastic run for them. Like... From qualification all the way to third place with Trinidad and Tobago. I'll take that any day. We didn't win the World Cup, but we came very close to it. So we're going to simulate the final and see who wins between Argentina and France. I just realised that Argentina and France are in the final. So that means that that was the repeat of 2022. And it was a 4-3 in the final to France. Wow, what a final that is. And if you want to have a look at the leaders for goal scorers, Kenwin Jones is up there with seven goals ahead of Alano and uh, Dudka as well. You know, really good players on this list. But Trinidad and Tobago's Kenwin Jones takes home the golden boot. And that was your run with Trinidad and Tobago, your full qualifying run. I really hope that you guys enjoyed it. If you did, then give it a like and subscribe. Keep it local as always. And I'll see you again for the next video.